it's all gone pretty much in the favor of Alamian. From time to time, switch across to the right hand. You'll see. There you go. Well, between 2008 and 2012. That's a long, long time ago. Things have changed. Well, things have changed a lot. The juniors, a lot of that was juniors target. One meeting this year, and that was just a couple weeks ago in the World Team Championship. Well, a lot of things changed, and you know, as our definitely has progressed through, through uh, the ranks, well, just Aren't improved as a player. You know, mm. even if it's a long time ago, absolutely. But yeah, they only just played a few weeks ago, and you want look at that. A doubles game just by himself because <laughs> he's got reach on both sides and somehow or the other i've always believed that the tall and the big lads have surprised me even more to ojun seung of uh, korea in round 32 and Chion lost 3 2. Very close. What a rally! Oh, he just disposed of his, the higher ranks. Oma Asak, although he is again higher ranked than Lee Sang Su at the moment. Yeah, I think Asar broke it in the first game. You no, know, you know, being powered down. One all. That and last year he got a team bronze for Iran and a bronze in doubles. Look at the fitness levels of both these players and Omar Asar. Just a slight edge there. Really prepped up. And that just coming to his aid. Babylonian. So for all in the second game. Yeah, he's coming with the intent to win. single point unsettled there when uh, Alamian was getting back into it. Just look how far behind. Omar Asa has won both of them so far. It's uh, Alamian who changed his uh, well t-shirt, didn't he? Yeah, I think both of them had a bit of a change, which is why the umpire had a chat. Sorry. day. And Omar Asar has come expecting nothing short of a win, and he's willing to work to the nail point. Held by Thomas Love Futsa. Two wall. That will surely give him some kind of inspiration, Glenn. My question. Whereas in the other one, um, he was the overwhelming underdog, Ahmed Saleh. Absolutely. Even though you have a relaxed playing style like Noshad Alamian, Alamian actually. Well, you're two games down, you can't afford to go through another one, and that's mm. the end of it all. Settle down to. It's 
almost like the sound of the warning bells out no shout along here and right from the start. Five I'll just pay back for what happened out clear on the air. Mm. Eleven five. And that's it. Being in the uh, fourth game, this is really a dead rubber, effectively. So you never know, there might be an opportunity. Oh, it comes with a water-based glue, and how cool is that? <laughs> Times have changed. <laughs> People still... Along with Nanosha Alamian, who's not really... I think Asar has just dominated this game entirely. Uh, you know, there's been no letting up, there's been no... You know, I don't think he even wants to let one game slip. <laughs> It'll be very interesting to see how he plays out his next game, Astar. If he can maintain this drive. Well, it also looks as it can be. It also can be predictable that he's playing on the backhand only. Make it so. tough for him. Oh, he's come prepared, Jazz. He's definitely come prepared, and especially since you said oh, the renewed the most part of this game. He's actually pushed him into that position where he's made him uncomfortable. Great rally, this one. Oh, how good was that? This Egyptian counterpart has already won the first three games and effectively the match. 